Better bundle up, cause it's card outside! <laughs> Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. Welcome to my unboxing and quality assessment for the War of the Spark bundle. Now, I saw a post somewhere where somebody said that the book that they got inside here had kind of a mildewy smell. And I figured, you know what? Let's get one of these. Let's crack the booster packs. Let's take a look at everything that's inside. Take a look at the quality levels of it. Yes, yes, I know. I know. I know what my hair looks like. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Relax. We're going back to purple. Anyways, we're going to take a look inside this package. We're going to see if this is up to standards. Also, this is the final the final bundle that has one of the visual the visual encyclopedias. This is the, the end of an era. So it makes sense to send it off, checking one of these out, and then who knows, maybe we'll do one for 2020 when they finally do one without the book, but it comes with an oversized die and different contents inside. So this is this is the final bundle of this generation. All that being said, it's time to Crack on in. All right, well, to save time, I already took the plastic off of it. Ooh, I'm getting better at this. Now, let's take a look here. Oh, wait, there's something, there's the book. Okay, so, notice notice how lovely Liliana looks on the outer wrap. Now, let me open this up. This was, this was pointed out to me by Five Staff. He went, look at how ugly Liliana looks inside. Look at how ugly she looks. Look at that. Look at how ugly she looks. And also, speaking of ugly, what is going on with Teferi? He's got some serious derp face. Derp! So yeah, I mean overall, overall, it's not too bad if you don't spend too much time looking at faces. I like the fact that they turn the inside of the, these into artwork as well, that's pretty cool. So, you know what, let's give the book a sniff. I got a big nose, so I'm the right man for this job. Ew. It does kind of have a weird smell, doesn't it? Ew, wow. It does, dude. That guy wasn't that guy wasn't joking. All right, he was on to something. So, for those of you who uh who don't really know, this is the last of its this is the last of its kind. This is the last of the uh, visual encyclopedias and this thing stinks, man. It stinks. Oh, nice chest. Let me rub your chest there, buddy. All right. Oh, wow. This is a really, really, really potent smelling book. It really, it really does stink. Good Lord. All right, so you've got that. You've got your little useless box that they include in each one that I've never found a real use for. It's not really practical for anything. It's just a filler box, I suppose. And then you've got the box itself looking all nice. I like the design where they've designed the box like this so it's much easier to slide apart way less of a hassle way less of a hassle inside oh look it's green that's funny pretty sure it was pagan pretty sure it was pagan who mentioned how every every die he's seen from these has been green are they all supposed to be green for the set is that the idea or are these supposed to come in random colors either way it's a regular run-of-the-mill spin down life die so Let's put that off to the side. Oh, they don't have the packs wrapped this time. The packs are all just loose. Well, that's different. All right. So inside, you get the um, the two two boxes. Now, in terms of the box, honestly, I like the box compared to the Deck Builders Toolkit. It's a little more rugged. Oh, hey, they've got one of those anti-theft cards for Walmart. I'm going to make sure to put this in somebody's backpack, so they're going to go to prison. You're going to jail. All right, and then we've got what here? Popular magic format, standard, booster draft, and commander. That's it, eh? You don't think modern's modern's popular at all? <laughs> really? Okay. Man, I can smell that book from over here. Good God. You got a card telling you your turns and Vivian looking at you. What's up, boy? What are you doing tonight? You want a little smoocheroonie? <laughs> all right, then we've got the land pack. Oh, did they stop? Did they not include foils in this one? Huh. The previous kit had foils. I'm gonna crack, I'm actually gonna crack this open and take a look and see if there are foil lands in here or not. Look at that, what, why did they do that? They had foils in the previous ones. Why did they cheap out here, wow. Oh wow, these lands stink too, man. 
This is a smelly bundle. This bundle got a lot of stank on it. Oh, all right. Well, I gotta say, that's uh it's that's weird, man. They don't normally smell this much. In case anybody's wondering how many lands are in here, it is an 80 card land pack included, all right? So you get uh an oh yeah, actually, wait a minute. This is something different too. All the lands are grouped by actual land type. Before they would be spread out, like it would go plains, island, swamp, mountain, like maybe not in that order, but they were just randomized. This time they've grouped them together, which is all right. Oh well, whatever. They do have a heavy smell to them in all honesty, good God. So the quality of the box, pretty good. The artwork on the box, I'd say that's pretty good too. So overall that looks good. Now, I mean, we're here, let's, uh, Let's crack into these booster packs, right? Let's see what you got here. We got, we got, it's 10 booster packs, right? They didn't reduce the amount. Did they have, what do we got here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we got 10. Okay, we got 10 booster packs. So let's do some, let's do some pack cracking. Let's do some pack cracking. Some pack cracking. Where's the rare? Hey! Hey, Big Daddy Karn, what's up, sexy poppy? That's a nice way to start out. Honestly, I gotta say, the, the, the chemically smell coming off of this fat pack is really, really strong. Like, it is just wafting up to my face, man. That is an, un it's unpleasant smelling, really. I'm the, I mean, the cart, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got this, this is not past the smell test. Does not pass the smell test. Hey, Ral, all right, dude, I gotta say, so far so good, two packs and we're killing it. Two packs and we are killing it. Let's, let's see what's in package number three. Pack number three, we got a foil on crop invader and, whoa, yikes. Okay, don't, don't go from the back. Don't, don't do it from behind, do it from the front. We've learned our lesson. Because if anything guides what you're gonna crack in magic, it's superstition. So let's get superstitious and magical. All right, come on, and, oh, never mind. It don't matter which way you do it. Welcome to Disappointment Town. Welcome to Disappointment Town. It's where you live, and it smells real bad. Oh, man. Good God. This, this bundle definitely is a, is a smundle. It's it smells. It's a smundle. Hey, Jason, a foil commence the end game. All right. I gotta say these packs so far. I mean, not too shabby. I hope the I hope the remaining five packs tend to be as good here. Cause uh, yeah, in terms of what I'm cracking, it's not too bad. Not too shabby, my friends. My friends, roll reversal and a. Foil forest. Well, there's one foil land. They can't, they can't believe they took the five foil lands out of the bundle. So why would they cheap out like that? That's that's a little unfair, I feel like. Because the previous bundles came with uh, the last couple they had been putting foil lands in. You get five. So it's kind of cheesy that they took that out. Bam, bam, bam. Elder spell. All right. Elder spell's not too shabby. Doesn't super excite me, but it's not too shabby. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Get that get that pile of cards growing. Growing and going. Here we come. And we got a casualty of wars. Wars. Just one. Casualty of war. Just the one war. It's not plural. Not plural wars. Not wars of the sparks. All right. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Living Twister. That's an all right card. Oh, and then we got the festive citizen token. Look at me! It's a party! It's a me, a party! Oh, all right, final pack. Come on now, let's give it. A, let's give it a love slap. Come on, come on, give me, give me what I want. Come on! All right, here we go. Here we go. Big money, no whammy. Give me that sweet slammy jammy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go! Oh, what up, Ugin? What's up, brother? How are you doing today? Not too bad, just talking to a magic card. Why does it smell so bad in here? Shut up, Ugin, shut up. All right, boom, put him over there. All right, so let's take a quick perusal back through the rares and such that we scored. So we got Ugin, Living Twister, Casualty of Wars, The Underspell, Roll Reversal, Foil Forest, Jace, Commence the Endgame Foil, Tolsamir, Mobilized District, 
Foil on Crop Invader, Ral, and a Karn. Overall, not too shabby Kraken. The, there is definitely a noticeable smell. There is definitely a noticeable chemically and off smell with this product. So that is definitely unenjoyable. Overall, the quality of the box is good. The packs were fine. I definitely think it's cheesy that they took the foil lands out. So that's a disappointment. That reduces the value you're getting by a little bit in this bundle. Aside from the smell, I would say the quality of it is all right. So it's not it's nothing special and it's nothing terrible. It's right there somewhere in the middle. That is my assessment. Now we're gonna hand it back over to the blonde version of me. See over there. All right, well, there you have it. Those are the contents of my lovely bundle. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. It is time to roll the golden scroll. These are the people of my back on Patreon or through channel memberships shout out to fc say can you see that he has joined up on the membership side as well as being a patron what a baller thanks very much for supporting my channel buddy hairs to you that's an inside joke that you would get if you had been coming to the streams but since you didn't now you get to sit there scratching your head going what what and yes Yes, I'm aware. I'm aware that my hair is currently blondish. I'm sure there'll be a million comments about, get on down there and tell me all about it. Like I don't already know. All right, that being said, I'm history, baby.